This is my redo review on the sponge family because I'm doing a little review because I don't think I praised the film enough. I mean, I think I did a good job last time. I don't think I did a good job the last time. Not a good enough job last time, I meant to say. So the movie about... Uh, so the movie opens up with Spongebob having... Waking up from a, a real dream, being a dream, from a dream, being the manager of the Krusty Krab. And he thinks that dream is about to come true the day he wakes up. Because it's the grand opening of the Krusty Krab 2. But Mr. Krabs, Chris Squidward, and Elvis SpongeBob, even on school, is just lazy. But hey, he's more mature than SpongeBob because SpongeBob's just a kid, is why he picks Squidward. Because Squidward's a man and SpongeBob's not. He's still a kid. Is like Crab sees it. So SpongeBob is now totally depressed and goes to the Goofy Goofy Bar where he uh, um, deals with his problems by having ice uh, was cry, cry, by crying his eyes out and having ice cream with his by Patrick after Patrick is given the news and they get well. Drunk on ice cream. Uh, the next day, he uh, keen up to blames Mr. Kraft for stealing his crown. So SpongeBob goes to the Krusty Krab to give him a piece of his mind, and he makes the situation worse. While Mr. Krabs is about to be executed. Um. So SpongeBob offers to. Go to and get King Lester's crown, and he's got five days because of Patrick wanting to lower the number of how much time he wants to catch on only the number of how much time he could ha he had to find the crown. Did I say five? I meant to say six days. He has six days. So, Crab is now frozen by King Neptune and turns out this plan was all behind. Plankton was the one that stole the crown and sold to the guy in Shell City and uh, framed Mr. Crabs. He is, SpongeBob and Patrick are now off to Shell City to get the crown and they get keep on getting, they get a little sidetracked when, uh, this uh, the yellow key one getting sidetracked by uh, someone stealing the car and the key to the paddy wagon. So So, um, to get the key back and the pack wagon back, and then gets eaten by this monster. Although, I have to get chased by this other monster who turns out to be more than just a friendly old lady. And, uh, this is when they gain ice cream from her and found out that Oli's really just a. Uh, Tongue attached to the monster. This, uh, yeah, so. I don't know, the ice cream is part of that too, so. Uh. SpongeBob's writing to call Chris and saying that Mr. Krabs and everyone was right, was right that the others kissed and that they're not way, off the, way over their heads. Uh. Patrick is a little not until he's in. Except this when he points out that he's been wearing the same underpants for free with straight with a talking dancing peanut attached 
on the, on the, on the other way. That's a goofy goofy underpants. Uh, so Mindy Chasm up, played by Scout Hansen. By giving them a good speech, and uh, they they finally believe that everyone they know is a goner. After the the speech, and they told Plankton his plan, and see how he's changed the the king of Uh Yeah. Um, so. Mindy tricks them into thinking they're meant by putting seaweed mustaches on them. And they now think they're invincible. So they jump off a cliff. Literally. They jump off a cliff. <laughs> and the fact that they survive, they assume that they are invincible. And they decide to break into a dance song number. A song number. And make friends with some monsters, and after, and he says, he may have passed all the hideous monsters. The, the monsters get all down because they thought they were friends. And Zondra says, We're not talking about you guys, you guys are awesome. So, they get, uh, kind of the uh, Bounty Hunter played by uh, Alex Baldwin, who has been hired to point to, to exterminate them. And he reveals Plankton's entire plan. He realizes he said too much. <laughs> so he gets stepped on literally by a bigger boot than his. Uh, literally. literally. And it turns out it's the Cyclops uh, that's in Shell City. And SpongeBob and Patrick get kidnapped by the Cyclops. And uh, uh, uh. so, Punch Bob and Patrick uh, get tortured to death by putting the side by the side claws, putting them onto a lamp, and having them dry out while he's in the bathroom. Uh, and this leads to a very, a very sad goodbye to Spongebob and Patrick. And Patrick and Spongebob have a hot to our conversation. And Spongebob says that everyone about us was right. We are just the kids. And it comes gives them way over their heads. And he realized that he was doomed from the, the stock to feel, doomed from, to feel from the stock. And they let everyone down. But Patrick keeps on saying self sitting until he starts the bomb patch in front of out. And he said, and uh, look at the sign self stream. And we can give some sun stream. So they went in self city. And SpongeBob sees the, and Patrick see the crown. And SpongeBob is so happy because he, he didn't make it to self city and uh, to the crown. They came closer than the, than the, than the, than the original, than they ever could have imagined. They came close. And Spongebob sees this as a victory as he's drying out. And Patrick sees that as a victory too. And he starts singing the Goofy Go with Scene song as they go away. Or permanently. So, the form of the SpongeBob's tear and the Patrick's tear form a heart. And the last one is uh, Goofy Goofy, yeah. So, uh, but it's not the end because he gets. 
he gets dragged to life by a Schwartz. But he gets brought back to life by this chair that electrocutes the uh, plug in the uh, waiting soaked again. So he died, but also got back to, brought back to life. So, so yeah, and it's still kind of, uh, and it's still kind of very, it's very uh, hot warming. Yeah, yeah. So they bring the crown back to King Brian with that with David Hasselhoff. Yes, the real David Hasselhoff, and. Uh, Bring the crown back to the king ball, but the this one they made it in time. Plankton decides to pull his decides to pull decides to cheat and with his backup plan by brainwashing not just the king ball now but also King Neptune. Oh. So it's fun for pointing out that Plankton cheated, and when when Patrick asked what happened, and uh, Plankton calls him this that uh, uh, Splinter says, "What are you saying? This is a game? You're just a kid, a, a stupid kid." And then SpongeBob says that he's he's right about him, and then he makes a really heartwarming speech about you know he's a kid. He's so dizzy and possible. I'm tearing up over because it's kind of beautiful. Um, so, he decides to just stop hiding from who he is and, and be who he really is on the inside. Which is a goofy kid. And he says he's all those things that people have said about him. And he says, but most of all, he's a goofy goober. And he sings, and he cuts into a, a SpongeBob, and SpongeBob sings a rock version of a goofy goober sings on. Well, blowing up all the mind control helmets. And Plankton gets taken into custody. And SpongeBob now gets the, uh, instead of school being the manager, it is SpongeBob that's the manager now. And he's going, he's like trying to say something, but he doesn't know how to put it, SpongeBob. And <laughs> two of the things that what you, I say, two of the things he knows what it is, but it's not what he thinks he knows what it is. Because it was good thought was like what he wanted was inside him all along, not the mantra bash. And he's and he says, No, I was just going to tell you a fly was down. And that's the SpongeBob movie. I really love this movie. I don't know if it's my favorite now, Miss Coin, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Although I think I like the Lego Batman movie more than this. Because it's, it, because Lego Batman made me tear up more. And it got to me more. And uh, it told a better story than this one. And I, I just really like this. But this was close. So I give this a thumbs up.